Good morning, 10th, 11th grade geometry class. Hope everybody had a great day yesterday. Get, make sure you're getting your homework in. Great job with that. Your handbooks are being filled out. And, uh, and so continue to make sure you get those things to me uh, as soon as possible. All right, so we're going to open up with a word of prayer. We're going to quickly review uh, what we did yesterday, and then we'll continue uh, adding on and building on to trigonometry. And I believe today we're going to learn about the sine and cosine ratios of a right triangle. So uh, let's pray, and then we'll get started. Dear Lord, thank you for this time. We pray now that you grant us great wisdom, our students to work hard and to work diligent tonight, today, and, and then for me as well as the teacher, help me to explain these principles and these uh, theorems and, and postulates with clarity of speech. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, we're going to get started today. Quickly, by way of review, page 31. Open up your books to page 31, and uh, we're going to get started today. Trigonometry, and so we learned yesterday what trigonometry is. Trigonometry is uh, a specialized field of math that really contains, uh, deals with triangles, all right? Triangles, and particularly uh, right triangles. And so uh, we, we looked at the trigonometric ratios. There are three trigonometric ratios. We have the uh, tangent, the cosine, and the sine. Uh, we came up with a little acronym here. We said yesterday we could call this here Chief Sokotoa. Chief Sokotoa. And basically what this does is gives us the uh, an easy way to remember all of the ratios. And so we have the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. Another way, a simple way we could commit this to memory is just simply say, some old horse caught another horse taking oat away. And uh, so just simple ways there to remember those trigonometric ratios. Yesterday, we particularly focused on the tangent ratio. And so in order to find the tangent, uh, remember in the right triangle, the tangent would be the opposite over adjacent. So uh, we would go tangent, okay, equals the side opposite over the side adjacent, okay? And so uh, we did our homework last night with this. And so let's look, review our homework. Uh, get your books out, page 32. We had, you had to do for homework uh, 2, 4, and 6 on page um, 32. I'll do one on the board, and then we'll simply give, an answer, give the answers to the other ones, all right? So uh, let's do number 2, okay? We have this triangle here we're going to use right here. And so we're going to say BC equals 3. And AC equals 8, we want to find the tangent of angle A and the tangent of angle B, okay? So the tangent of angle A, so we're simply writing our formula out, tangent of angle A is equal to, now the opposite over adjacent, so opposite over adjacent. So the if we're looking for this angle A here, so the side opposite would be, all right, would be 3 over side adjacent. So the adjacent side would be the side that uh, shares the common vertex there. So it would be 8. Okay, then you'd get your calculator out. You would divide uh, 3 divided by 8. And uh, your answer would be for that one for homework would be 0.37. Five zero point three seven five zero. Now we want to find the tangent of angle B. Okay, so the tangent of angle B. So there's our theta there. That's the angle we're going to look for. So the side opposite over side adjacent. So the side opposite this angle would be side AC, which would be eight. Divide that by the side adjacent, which would be three. And so we have 8 divided by 3, and then you should have, for your answer, 2.6667. Uh, so for number 2 on page 32, the tangent of angle A is 0.3750, and the tangent for angle B would be 2.6667, all right? So uh, let me quickly give you the answer for number 4. And number 6. So number 4, the answer for tangent of angle A would be... 2.0000. 2.0000. 0, 0, 
zero, zero. And for tangent of angle B, the answer would be 0 0.5000. Zero, 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 zero. All right, so that would be for number four. Number six, the tangent of angle A would be 0.9545, and then the tangent for angle B uh, would be 1.0476. 1.0476, all right? So turn to page, page 33. We had to do that for homework as well, and so that... Uh, required the table on your handbook so make sure that you're using this table here so for number bottom of page 33 we just simply had to use the table to find the measure the angles and to find the tangent so quickly uh, we'll give you the answers for that one so for number one we did that in class but I believe number one the tangent of A, of A equals 2.7475 so the measure of the angle would simply be 70 degrees for number two, it would be 30 degrees. For number three, it would be two degrees. And for number four, it would be 25 degrees, okay? Now, using number five, using the table on page EE, find these tri trigonometric ratios. So the tangent of five degrees would be uh, 0 0.0875, 0 0.0875. And then the number six, the sine of 31 degrees would be 0 0.5150. Number seven, the tangent of 87 degrees uh, would be 19.0811. And then number uh, eight, <clears throat> the cosine of 53 degrees would be 0 0.6018. Eight. So that would be your homework for page 33. And then we're going to do uh, quickly here page 34, number 12 and 14. Again, that was for homework. We want to quickly uh, go over those. And so this would be the triangle here on page 35 for number 12. And so what we want to do is the directions say make sure we round off to two decimal places as well as use the table on EE to find the tangent of any angle all right so looking at number 12 we have bc okay equals 4.5 all right ac equals we don't know and the measure of angle b is equal to 72 degrees okay so we want to find the tangent so we were given the angle so we're going to say the tangent of 72 degrees is equal to, again, what's the ratio for a tangent? Side opposite over side adjacent. Since we're looking for angle, since we're given angle B, all right, so I'm just going to put here angle B, all right, the side opposite over side adjacent, okay? So BC would be the adjacent side and AC would be the opposite side. So we're going to go X over 4.5. All right, now we want to get x by itself, class. So uh, we're going to divide or multiply both sides by 4.5. And so we have x is equal to, um, we have 3.0777. All right, 3.077. Now, what we want to do here, all right, so remember, this is what x equals there. Now, so that would be the final answer, I believe. Once we get that, right, let me see, did I do that right? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me, uh, let's fix this here. All right. <clears throat> So what we want to do is you want to find the tangent of 72 degrees. So you go in your table, find the column with the angle, go down to 72 degrees, and then go over to the to the uh, left side the left side of the column, and you will find the tangent the tangents there. And so you'll kind of right where your fingers meet, you'll find that the tangent of 70 degrees 72 degrees is 3.0777. Then we're going to multiply that by 4.5. Okay, so 4.5 would be 
13.85. So the length of AC would be 13.85. So be sure when you do these problems here uh, that you are, before you do anything, you want to convert this angle measure to the tangent and then you can do your math, all right? So let's do, uh, we'll do the last one, number 14 together, okay? Number 14 together. Okay, all right, so number 14, we have, all right, BC equals 5, AC is our unknown, and the measure of angle A is 15, okay? Again, our ratio, so the tangent of 15 degrees is equal to side opposite over side adjacent. So if we're looking for, if we have angle A, side opposite would be line segment BC. So opposite BC is 5 over the side adjacent, which that is our unknown. Okay. Now before we want to do anything, you want to convert this tangent 15 degrees. What is the tangent of 15 degrees? So you go onto your table, Look down, all right, on your chart here. Okay, so on the right-hand side, find 15 degrees, and then go over to the tangent, and then write in your tangent. So the tangent of 15 degrees is 0.2679. Okay? Now, class, all right? All right, what do we want to do here? How about we have Joey? Good morning, Joe. Hope you had a great night rest last night. Hope you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed today. Uh, Joe, how do I get X by itself? First, I want to eliminate the fraction. Good. So then uh, we can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by X. So X would cancel out here. So we have 5. And then this would be 2679X, right? From there, G... Good morning. How do we get the answer for there? And then how about we have Katie Strzelecki. Why don't you follow us up? Good. We divide both sides by 0.2679. So X is equal to, get your calculator out, Gianna. And then how about Katie, you follow up with the correct answer there? 18.67. Is the correct answer. So there you have your homework last night. Uh, great job with that. If you have any questions, again, uh, feel free to contact me. Why don't we turn the page? Okay, so we've learned thus far in our trigonometric ratios the tangent, all right, which is, say it with me, everybody together. Okay, say it with me. The tangent is the side opposite divided by side adjacent. Okay, now. Turn to page, page number 35. We're going to look at the sine and cosine ratios. The sine, all right, the sine and cosine are different from the tangent ratio. And here's a, a, another way we could separate the two. Because the sine and the cosine tangent uh, use the hypotenuse. Whereas the tangent only uses the legs. So uh, we would have, if we would call this side A side B, side C. The tangent only uses legs A and B, whereas both the sine and the cosine use the uh, uh, hypotenuse in the ratio there. And so uh, we're looking at the sine here. So the sine, okay, so the sine, we're going to use the abbreviation, which is sin, okay, of angle is equal to, O stands for opposite, over H stands for hypotenuse. So the side opposite over the side of the hypotenuse, all right, which is the length of the hypotenuse there. So the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. And again, so the angle will determine which side is the opposite side. So if we want to find, let's see, let's say we want to find the sine of angle B, okay? We know it's going to be side opposite over the length of the hypotenuse. If I wanted to find the sine of angle A, again, it would be side opposite over the hypotenuse. 
Okay, so sine is the length of the side opposite divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, then there's the cosine. All right, the cosine. So the cosine, again, the abbreviation would be uh, COS, all right, is equal to, again, so A would stand for the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Okay, so again, if we want to find the cosine of angle B, it would be the adjacent side. So this time, remember the adjacent is here's common vertex. So it would be side B or BC over C, the hypotenuse, or AB. So there are the three. These very these are very important trigonometric ratios all need to be memorized. Again, a nice way to remember is this is Chief Sokotoa. Again, or we can say some old horse, call it another horse, taking away. Uh, but it's very important that you memorize these uh, and uh, these trigonometric ratios and be able to apply them to our right triangle. So uh, let's practice together, right? Let's look at page 36. Page 36, number one. All right, let me get my eraser out here. Okay, page 36, all right, number one. Let's do this together here. So again, um, we have BC is five. So I'm just going to mark off here. BC is five. And AB is <clears throat> 10, all right? And then we want to find the sine of A and then the measure of angle A, okay? So the sine and then... The measure. So we're going to need our table. So keep your table from your handbook very close by. Let's solve this. Okay. Now we're doing the sign. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so all right. Here's our ratio. So we're going to put here the sine of angle A is equal to all right opposite over hypotenuse. Again, here's angle A. All right. What is the side opposite. How about we have Liam? The opposite side of angle A would be what? And then we'll have Caleb Tomlinson. Hope everything's going well. Very good. The side opposite would be 5 over the side of the hypotenuse, which is 10. All right, get your calculator out. We're going to do 5 divided by uh, 5 divided by 10, which equals. 0. 0.5000. Now, what we want to do there, that's okay, that's the sine of angle A. Now we want to get our table. We want to find in the sine column, so the sine column is the first, very first column. We want to find what number this is closest to. All right, so 0. 0.5000. So you want to look there on your on your column. And so we see here 0. 0.5000. And we're just going to look over. We see that is a 30 degree angle. So the measure of angle A is 30 degrees. 30 degrees. And that's how you would simply find the sine. All right, so let's do number three together. Okay, number three together. So AC, okay, let's erase this here. All right. <clears throat> All right, so number three. AC is 12 and AB is 19. We want to solve for the sine of angle B, the sine for angle B. Okay, so let's get our equation out here. So we're going to change this to the sine of angle B. So the sine of angle B is equal to, again, side opposite over the hypotenuse. So we're going to go, all right, we have angle B. So the side opposite would be what, Gabe? How about we have Brandon follow up? It would be 12. Very good. So 12 divided by... 19. So get your calculator out, do 12 divided by 19, and you should have 0.6316. That's the sine of B. Take your table out. 
Once you get your table out, you're going to look again in your sign column and go to point six three one six, and you want to go to the number at least that's closest uh, to that. And then you're going to get an approximate angle, which the approximate angle would be, and we want to show approximately because we don't have the definite number there. Thirty nine, approximately thirty nine degrees. That's how you find the sign. If you have any questions, make sure you contact me and let me know. And so you want to do again number two for homework as practice. Now let's turn to page to page number 37. All right. And now we're going to find the unknown lengths of these right triangles using the sine ratio. Okay. So erase this here. Okay. All right. So here's our triangle. Okay, we have triangle A, A, B, C. Okay, now if B, C is 9 and the measure of angle A is 38, what is the measure of the hypotenuse? So all we need, all we need to have is two pieces of information. We can have either the two lengths in order to find the sine of the angle, or we can have the sine and one of the lengths of the legs to find the length of the hypotenuse or vice versa. Now all we need to do here is simply take our formula, plug what is given to us and solve for what is unknown. So we do have the angle here. So I'm gonna to go to the sine of angle, let me do it this way. <clears throat> the sine, all right, of 38 degrees is equal to the side opposite over our unknown. Okay, once we do that, let's find the sine of 38 degrees. So get your table out, the sine of 38 degrees, and we'll have Chris Robb. Once you get that, I want you to tell that to me, and then we'll follow it up with Josh Baruch. Okay, what is the sine of 39 degrees? All right, the sine of 30. 9 degrees, or excuse me, 38 degrees, the sine of 38 degrees is what? All right, then, then we'll, let me see here, let me get this uh, for me. All right, the sine of 38 degrees is 0. 0.6157. equals 9 over x. Okay, now we've got to solve for x. So let's multiply both sides by x, so 9 is equal to 0.6157x. We want to divide both sides by 0.6157, and x is equal to, get your calculator out, and how about we have Katie Baruch, then follow that up by Emmy. What is your answer there? Good, 14.62. So the length of the hypotenuse is 14.62. Again, just simply using the sine ratio. Let's do one more together. Let's do number Okay, let's do number 6. Let's do number 6 together. Okay, so number 6 we're going to do AC is 9. Okay? And uh um, the measure angle B is 81. What is the length of AB? So that's again, all right? So the sine of 81 degrees is equal to, again, opposite over hypotenuse, 9 over x. All right, again, let's get... So... What is the sine of 81 degrees? Get your table out. How about we have Liam? And then we'll follow that by Katie Strzlecki. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Liam. Uh, what is the sine of 81 degrees? Get your table out there. The sine of 81 degrees would simply be 0.9877. Multiply that by x, 0.9. 877x equals 9. Divide both sides by 9877. 
x equals, get your calculator out. How about we have Hannah, you come up with the answer, and then why don't we have um, Bobby Huntlock, you follow up with that answer. So take a few seconds, put that in your calculator, and you should have the answer for... Good, 9.33, 9.33. Any questions there about finding the sine of a right triangle? Now let's go look at the cosine, okay? Now the cosine. <clears throat> All right, so the cosine ratio, we're going to look at, get another right triangle here. All right, we're going to call this triangle A, B, C. All right. So, Chief Sokotoa, we've learned the tangent ratio is the side, length of the side opposite divided by the length of the side adjacent. Then we have the sine, which is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And now we're going to look at the cosine, which is the length of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So look at, look at number 8. Number 8, okay? So number 8 we have AC is 9. AB is 15. What is the cosine of angle A? Okay. So the cosine of angle A is equal to, all right, what's the ratio here? Side adjacent. So again, that's the side that shares the common vertex with the angle we're looking for. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Get your calculator out, divide that, 9 divided by 15. All right, how about we have uh, Katie Baruch. Good morning, Kate. Get your calculator out. Do 9 divided by 15, and what do you have for your answer, Katie? You should have 0 .6000. That is the cosine of angle A. Now, what is the measure of angle A. This is where you could get your table. Get your table out. You want to look for um, in the second, in the middle column, you'll see the cosine in your middle column. You want to find a number, 0 .6000, and then go back to the right in your angle column, and you will find the measure of the angle, which is 53 degrees. 53 degrees, okay? And uh, so let's look at number 10. Number 10. All right, so number 10, we have AC is 2.5, and uh, AC, AB is 4.2. We want to find the cosine of angle A. So again, the cosine of angle A, the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. All right, get your calculator out. 2.5 divided by 4.2. All right, Falsto, get your calculator. What do you have there, Falsto? 2.5 divided by 4.2. We have the answer as 0.5952. Again, get your table out. You want to look in your cosine column for a number at, for that exact number, or at least the number closest to that, and then look back to the right to get your angle. And we see that we have measure of angle A is approximately 53 degrees. 53 degrees. And that's how you find the cosine. All right, now we'll do one more. Let's look at number. 12, number 12, bottom of the page here, okay, all right, number 12, now find the unknown lengths of these right triangles using the cosine ratio, round off to two decimal places, again, all we need to know are at least two factors that in order to find a, the, a third, so uh, we could take the measure of an angle plus the side, and we can find the length of the other side we're looking for. So look at number 12 here. If AB is 15, all right, if AB is 15 and the measure of angle B is 15 degrees, what is the length of BC? What is the length of BC? So again, I keep, I'm just going to use the same equation and just plug in my knowns and solve for my unknowns. 
All right, so the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Here's the side adjacent, it has the common vertex there. So x over 15. I'll get your table out. Look for angle 15. Go to the left, the column of, says cosine, and then write down that four digit decimal number, which simply is 0 0.9659. 0.9659. Once we do that, we're going to multiply both sides by 15, that cancels out. So x is equal to, which 15 times 0.9659, all right, and you should have 14.49, 14.49. That would be the length of side B, C. All right, we'll do uh, one more together. All right, so let's look at number 14 here. A, B is 9.2. AB is 9.2. Uh, measure of angle A is 39. We want to find the measure of AC. Okay? All right, so the cosine of our angle, which is 39 degrees, is equal to side adjacent X over the hypotenuse. Let's get x by itself, all right? So Gabe, walk me through it. So we're going to divide, we're going to multiply, all right, both sides by 9.2. But before we do that, got to remember, we want to find the cosine of 39 degrees, okay? So uh, what is the cosine of 39 degrees? Get your table out, look for the cosine of 39 degrees. The cosine of 39 degrees is... 0.7771, all right, times that by 9.2, get your calculator out, what do you have, Point nine, uh, multiply that by 9.2, you should have 7.35, there you have it, so there's the sine and the cosine ratios, you want to make sure that um, for homework today, uh, you'll have to do page 36, finish page 36, as well as page 37. Page 36 and 37. All right, so have a blessed day. Hopefully, we'll see you on Tuesday. Good night.